In this video, we're continuing on with our naming polynomials worksheet, finishing out the second half. Before we get started, let's do a refresher of our table or our chart one more time. So for naming a polynomial, we need the degree and the number of terms. A degree is the value of the greatest exponent. So if that's one, that's known as a linear. Two, a quadratic. Three, a cubic. Four, a quartic. Five, a quintic. 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on is known as either 6th degree, 7th degree, 8th degree, 9th degree, and so on. For the number of terms, if we have a single term, it's a monomial. Two terms, a binomial. Three terms, trinomial. And four or greater, you can say a polynomial with and then the number of terms. So 4, 5, or so on. So let's go back to number 15. In number 15, the greatest exponent value is 2. So this is going to be a quadratic. Also, there are two terms, so the polynomial is classified as a binomial. So 15 is a quadratic binomial. In number 16, we have a single number without a variable. There is no degree, and this is simply a constant. However, one term, so we can say that it's a constant monomial. Number 17, our degree is going to be 4 since 4 is the greatest exponent value. So a degree of 4 is known as a quartic. Also, there are 1, 2, 3 terms, so this is a quartic trinomial. And number 18, this a has an exponent of 1 since a to the 1 is a. So the highest degree is 1, so we know that this is linear. And since there are two terms, this will be a linear binomial. In number 19, you can see that there are two terms. So this is a binomial with a degree of 6th. So we can say 6th degree binomial. In number 20, again, there's two terms, so we know that this is, again, a binomial, but this has a degree of 5 since 5 is the greatest value in the exponents, otherwise known as a quintic. So 20 is a quintic binomial. Number 21, there's only one exponent to look at, and that's 5, so this is fifth degree, and there's one term, so this is a quintic monomial. Number 22, the degree is 5 with a single term. So again, just like 21, this is a quintic monomial. Moving on to number 23, our highest degree in the exponents is not 1, not 2, not 3, but 4. So 4 is the greatest degree, so this is going to be known as a quartic. And there's one, two, three, four terms. So this is a quartic polynomial with four terms. In number 24, looking at our exponents, the greatest value is one. So this is linear, and there are only two terms, so it's a linear binomial. In number 25, looking at our exponent values, we have two and we have one. Two is the greatest, so this is going to be a quadratic. And there are a total of three terms, so it is a quadratic trinomial. In number 26, we have a four, five, and six as exponent values, but six is greater than both five and four, so this is a sixth degree polynomial. And this polynomial has three terms, so it's a sixth degree trinomial. At number 27, there's no variable, so this is a constant, and there's one term, so it's a constant monomial. At number 28, our exponent values are 5, 4, 1, and 7. 7 is the greatest, so this is a seventh degree polynomial. 
And this polynomial has four terms. So it's a seventh degree polynomial with four terms. And quickly, I'm going to reiterate the fact that the degree of a polynomial is the value of the greatest exponent. So order does not matter. So even though this 7 n to the fifth is listed first in the polynomial, the 7 in the exponent of 10 n to the seventh is the greatest, and that is the degree. Moving on to number 29, again, we have a constant monomial. And lastly, number 30. Before I go over the answer to this, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and like my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. All likes are greatly appreciated, and subscriptions help alert you to when videos are released so that you can be one of the first notified. So let's go over number 30. In number 30, our exponent values are 6, 2, and 4. 6 is the greatest, so this is a 6th degree. And the number of terms is 3, so it's a trinomial. So number 30, we have a 6th degree trinomial. And that wraps up this video, naming polynomials. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions or worksheet requests.